Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany. Today I want to make a really quick video, kind of like an update on my Airbnb experience and kind of giving y'all um, my reasons why this will be my last probably couple of months, maybe last year of doing Airbnb. So kind of give you a little history of my experience or how long I've been on a platform. I've been on Airbnb for maybe about I've been doing short-term rentals for about two years. It'll be, actually it'll be exactly two years in April, so about a year and a half. Um, when I started out on Airbnb, I had one apartment. It was located in the medical center of Houston, and it was in a really good location. The apartment was actually located right next to the Metro Rail, which goes right into the medical center, so it was ideal for nurses, doctors, residents, anybody coming to town pretty much for work. My experience with that first apartment was a lot different. I had more, I would say, of a positive experience. And there were times when things didn't go, I would say, perfect, but I did not experience anything that what I'm going through right now in this second year of me doing Airbnb. So there would be hiccups along the way. Sometimes you might get a guest here and there that was kind of like a little overly, <laughs> Like kind of dirty but you know that's what you have your cleans for and things like that this second year i got a new apartment in what i thought was a better location a more it was an older apartment but they had done a lot of renovations so a lot a lot more spacious and just looked better there were stainless steel stainless steel appliances and things like that and more room for the guests and i still did a one bedroom if you look back at some of my previous videos i gave you tours of both of the apartments that i had on airbnb and recently i started airbnb uh, actually i'm sorry i started um trying out a new website for me new to me but not new at all called furnish finders so what i did is i have a townhouse here and I've been doing house hacking. I'm trying out house hacking and I'm renting out my third bedroom. The reason why I'm doing that is because this past year of me doing this new property. So the first property that I got, I got rid of it. And then I transitioned to what I thought was gonna be another property that would be better. The reason why I thought it was gonna be better, not only because it looked better inside and it was newer and more updated, they also had what they call a key cafe. So that was the biggest thing with the first property. I would have to, like if the guest was coming in, they would put in the code and then um, that was, uh, that was um, pretty much linked to the apartment that I had. And then once they put that code in, the code um, would call my phone and then I would have to press maybe like nine star to open up the gate. So that was like a big hassle. So if somebody was checking in one o'clock in the morning, I would get a call and have to press nine to let them in. So I was trying to make it um, easier for me to not always have to uh, be looking at my phone when somebody was checking in. So with this new apartment, my second property that I got, the key cafe allowed the guests to be able to put in a code. Basically it's a box and it has little square boxes that are um, part of the key cafe. So think of like a little locker with little individual boxes where you can put keys in. You give your guests um, access code, they put the access code in and then it opens up the box, a little storage box, they get the keys, whatever you want them to have before entering into the apartment or going through the, the parking garage to park to go into the apartment, they can get that out, right? So I thought it would be easier for me, right? Cause I still, I do Airbnb and I also work, okay? So this is not a full-time job for me. The problem I've been having with this last year is the type of guests I've been getting has been horrible. I just had a situation, I've had a couple situations. So first problem that I have with guests is that they love to smoke in the apartment. I don't know what it is about weed, why people are obsessed with weed, why they want to smoke weed so bad. Guys, there's a whole patio. I have a whole patio <laughs> to my one bedroom apartment and instead of walking outside to the patio, no, they smoke in the house and which is just absurd to me because I don't, I would never smoke in my own home. Like I love my home. Why, why would you want to smoke in your own home? But I get it. This is not your home, right? You're treating it, I guess, like, I don't know. I just wouldn't do that in a hotel. I would not do that in Airbnb. I would not do that in my own home. And so I just don't understand why people do this. Now, when I got the second property, 
it happened maybe like one or two it happened one time right the first time it happened i was like okay you know and this is why as a host y'all you really should be charging guests when they do stuff like this to compensate you for the hassle of having to have your cleaner clean extra now and things like that because this is going to be an inconvenience to you right you can't have your next guest checking in and the place smells like weed so what i had to do was invest in the air purifier and it's called ozone i will try my best to find it on amazon and link it below if you guys want to purchase it if you're a host out there and you're trying to alleviate this issue that you will have at some point somebody's gonna try to smoke in your airbnb i kid you not it's gonna happen it's been happening so time like literally it's happened my lease will be up in may i will not be renewing my lease it's probably happened at least five times and i'm like what is going on yes you want to screen your guests you want to ask them why they're coming in town a lot of times they'll volunteer that information you want to look at reviews you want to do all these things but what people don't realize with inflation going on all just all the changes that we have the competition getting um just it's just more people who are in airbnb now with all this going on people don't they want like the lowest price possible they want to lowball you they want to get a discount they want to they don't want to pay a cleaning fee <laughs> it's just kind of like okay well you know guys if there's no cleaning fee how do you think this apartment is getting clean you know you're paying for a nightly a nightly rate for this airbnb but if there is a zero cleaning fee like that's kind of not good right and also as a business owner this is going to cut into your profit so with this last issue that just has me so upset I had a guest, she checked in and um, there was a parking pass that is, um, that I, I pay for a reserved parking spot with my Airbnb. And there's a parking decal that you put in your car so that you can pretty much be right next to apartment and just make it convenient. Like that's my thing. I like to try, try to make it super convenient for my guests. She checked out, put the key back in the key cafe. She did not, you know, leave the parking decal. I called or, I messaged her to ask her, you know, hey, hello. I hope you had a good experience. Did you, where did you leave the parking pass? No, no response, totally ignore me. So what I had to do is I had to request, which is gonna cost $50 for me to replace this piece of paper, <laughs> a piece of paper uh, for my next guest who is checking in in like two hours. So she, um, I put the request in and I told her it would be $50. You have to go through Airbnb to do this, right? So the guest has the opportunity to either accept or decline your request. So let's say if they are smoking weed in my place and now instead of you know $80 for my, um, as my cleaning fee for my cleaner to come in and clean, now it might be $120 or $100. You have to put in a request and ask them for the money, which most people are going to say no. So she declined it. So now I'm going to have to go through Airbnb support center and pretty much prove to them why I am, uh, why I need her to reimburse me the $50 for her not leaving the parking pass, which is something that's so, it's so simple. So she didn't leave it. I'm going to give them a call after I get done with this video. But I was running a lot of errands and getting my Airbnb, making sure everything was ready for my next guest. And I just wanted to make this video because there are so, it's to the point where there are influencers now out there who preach Airbnb. And um, you got so many people that are getting into it, especially with me being in a big city. There is it's so many people doing it. And my thing is, I think I'm done with Airbnb. I might allow guests here and there to book but I'm going to put more attention and um, focus on VRBO, which I've had an excellent experience with VRBO. Like those type of guests, the quality of guests that I get on that website, I don't know what it is, but you get younger people on Airbnb. There seems to be young people who want to party and things like that on Airbnb. You get the responsible people on VRBO, which means their standards are also going to be higher as well. And then I'm also trying out furnish finders. And that's gonna be strictly geared towards professionals. So my nurses, 
doctors, lawyers, not saying if you're a nurse or a, a lawyer means you're respons irresponsible because there are definitely irresponsible lawyers and nurses out there, but I'd rather have a professional come into my property that has intentions of coming into town for either business or something like that. So I just want to give you guys an update and share my experience with y'all because this is like getting ridiculous. I'm definitely not going to, you know, give up on real estate. I'm so, I'm definitely going to do short-term rentals and things like that, but I'm seeing the more issues issues that I'm having with these guests, it's going to take me probably um changing my business model and trying out something different. So, I appreciate you guys <laughs> listening to my rant, listening to me vent. Um, thank you for watching this video. And if you want me to share more content about my entrepreneur and Airbnb business, then please leave a comment below. Definitely subscribe to my channel and like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.